Welcome to another Teach to Learn Foundation video. Here we have a part B2 earth science question that illustrates the water cycle. The first thing it asks us is, other than, evap other than evaporation, which water cycle process transfers large amounts of water vapor into the atmosphere from the forest? Well, a key word there is forest. Um, and then also it clearly il illustrates right here with an arrow coming from the trees what the answer is. The answer is obviously transpiration because transpiration is water vapor given off, given off by the trees. There's many hints that give that away. Another question is describe one surface condition change at location A that would decrease the rate of runoff. Location A is right here and as we can see it's mountainous and it's a slope going down. So the easiest answer would just to be to say a decrease in slope because obviously it's common sense that a uh, flatter land will, water just won't move as well on flatter land opposed to slopey land. And the next one, number 55, how many joules of heat energy are released by each gram of water vapor that condenses to form cloud droplets? That one, you're going to have to look in your earth science reference table, and the answer is going to come out to be 2,260 joules. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more videos that will help you get a higher score on your upcoming regents exams.